In Romans 9.33 it says, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone of a rock of offense. Now Paul spoke of the offense of the cross. He demands that we die to self and live to Christ and then pick up our cross and follow him. That's what Jesus taught. In order to live in God's protection, and you're going to want his protection in these coming days, in order to have that protection through the upcoming days of persecution, everything a person has, everything a person owns and trusts in, needs to be nailed to that cross, to the cross of Jesus. To be adopted into God's family means that you liberate yourself from everything you leaned on before coming to Jesus. This is the true gospel. We are to imitate Christ by dying to self and allowing him to resurrect us to the new life. You see, it's not enough to come to the cross repeat a little tiny prayer, and then go back to your old life and expect that you're going to belong to God and expect to be guaranteed of heaven or eternity. It's not like that, friends. Believe me. I'm convinced that a majority of people who claim to be Christians in the last days have been to the cross, but they've never nailed their flesh to that cross. They've never been buried with Christ. Paul said, I died with Christ. I was raised with Christ. I was crucified with Christ. We're not only to come to the cross, but we're to pick up our cross and follow him. This is the new life, friends. The Bible tells us that we don't have to be afraid when we see how rapidly this age of grace is coming to an end. If you're watching the news or listening to the news or reading the news, things are changing fast. But let me say that it's explicitly how we receive protection from the events that we'll soon see burst upon the world. It's going to get worse, friends. I know you don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it either, but it's going to be true. We're living in the beginning of the last of the last days. And there is a protection for you. Listen carefully. There's protection for you. Divine protection. Nothing you can do on your own Nothing you can pay for or promise can gain you entrance into heaven when you die. Let's deal with that for a moment. The good news is that Jesus Christ has already done it for you and for me. When he died on the cross in your and my place, he paid the penalty that you and I owe. He purchased your freedom. He died in your place, and he loves you enough to buy you a ticket to heaven with his very life. But what you have to do is redeem that ticket. You do that by sincerely repenting of your sins and asking Jesus into your life. And when you give him your life, he gives you his life. Believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, that he was crucified for your sins, and that God raised him from the dead. Admit that you're a sinner and that you would never qualify for heaven on your own. Humbly ask God to forgive you for your sins and to cover you with his righteousness. Then accept the pardon and believe that God will do everything that he has promised. Now, if you sincerely will do that, then you've received a new spirit. That's how you become born again. This is how one gets adopted into God's eternal family. Then live your life as a reflection of Jesus and know that heaven is your new home when your life on this earth is over. Now, if you are not sure you're going to heaven, go to daleblack.org, visit the book your heaven flight. There are videos and some uh, written information for me to you. And go to that website and book your heaven flight now. God bless you.
So what do you do next? Well, let me say, if you're a believer in Jesus and you know that you're already saved and heaven bound, if you're a follower of the Messiah, then why not take the next step? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Make sure you're reading a good translation of the Bible, not a paraphrase, and use the Word of God as your plumb line for daily living. When you think of the cross, when you see a cross, be reminded that the cross tells you and me that you and I are in need of a Savior. But Jesus Christ is the only Son of God. He came to earth just as He prophesied. He is the Messiah. He laid His life down for you and for me. The Bible says that Jesus came into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him would be saved. If you're a believer already, then rededicate your life to Him right now. Give Him your all. Make sure there's no rooms inside of your heart where He's not allowed in. Give Him all of you, and He'll help you. Whatever you need, He will help you do it. We are told that to receive His benefits and His life, we simply give up our own. Take the quality time necessary to humble yourself before the Lord and rededicate your life to Him. And rededicate everything in your life to Him and give yourself to His purposes. Take the next step and make sure you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Go to our website, daleblack.org, and click on the videos, and you will find a video called How to Be Filled with the Holy Spirit. There's another one, Who is the Holy Spirit? These are powerful videos that will help instruct you into getting more power in your Christian life. If you really want to live in victory... If you really want to have godly success, no matter what comes your way, then you're going to want to base your entire life on the living Word of God. He is faithful, friends. You can do it. This is Dale Black reminding you again that with God, nothing is impossible.